when my wife was diagnosed, she had nine months to live. She lived 40. And she lived because a bunch of people invested in the paradigm bending science that yielded the drug that gave us more time together than we had any right to believe we would have. There are those who take us from the unknown to the known. Explorers, motivated by the curiosity that lives within us all. And as we go from the unknown to the known, we find new ideas that enable us to face new challenges. The next like aha moment, which is probably going to ch really change how cancer is treated, personalized immunotherapies. So we're, we need to get to the point where we're going to be able to say at a time a person gets diagnosed with cancer, we'll be able to look at them, do a blood test or take a tumor sample, run you know genetic analysis on it, run immunological analyses on it, that we can say, we know exactly what treatment this patient needs to get. We like to say, you know, be part of history. I think if you support us, you're going to be part of history. T cell in the body has each a unique receptor. Now we can take T cells and engineer them to overexpress a unique receptor that will identify the cancer cell and make this T cell crazy about them. They will go on, chase them, find them, and kill them. Every other week, they make a new version of it. It's really exciting times we are on. There's a core rabbinic principle called tikkun olam. It's the notion that we are obligated to repair the world. And I personally feel deeply and abidingly we can do something about this disease that has stolen so much from so many of us. The untold true success story of the startup nation is that of cancer research. Cures depend on science. Science depends on society, and society depends on you. Your commitment to life-saving science is necessary. There has never been a greater opportunity to improve the outcomes of so many patients with cancer.